Hello guys and welcome back to the Minecraft Military Force and today we're going to take a look at the 2021 Military Sci-Fi Contest where you can build any military science fiction in Minecraft. It could be from Halo, Star Wars, an existing universe or your own custom one. And before we get started, I wish you guys a happy new year. Alright, so our first entry is by Mossy Cobblestone. This is Transformers Fall of Cybertron. Combat to cons and Bruticus in one to one scale. And they are basically a subgroup of Decepticons. So there's a bunch of different vehicles right there. It also has some pictures of it in the night with the Aurora Borealis in the background. There's his Bruticus head. All right, so next up, this is Park Ranger 101's United Planetary Council Peacekeeping Troops landing on Moss Iorak. Custom creation is inspired by the Star Wars K79 590 Imperial Troop Transport. Then by Lieutenant Lettuce, this is the M5A3 Ravager with tusk armor firing its railgun in 4 to 1 scale. It looks a lot like a futuristic Abrams thing. And then by UPRLX FDNY15, this is the Japanese Gundam with wings in a hangar, ready for war. Then by D4 Lack, this is the UNSC Grey Lady with her fleet on their way to reinforce UNSC troops on the ring. The fleet consists of two Paris class frigates, one Charion class frigate, and the Grey Lady, which is a marathon class cruiser. Next up by Plasmatic Static, we have a squadron of three mechs, which are guarding a breach wall section. There's also some helicopters I noticed flying overhead, and they look to be repairing it with these cranes. And here are all three of the mech guards in the different poses. And then by Lychee 10, we have three enormous self-propelled artillery guns that are being escorted to a classified location with dozens of medium tanks and four attack helicopters as protection. And then by Patrick Bateman, we have some X-Wings emerging from hyperspace. And then by Leung, we have some Servant Sisters of Eve SOE Battleship Nestor. And then we also have the Nestor with swarms of sentry drones. Then by Grasby, this is a raiding party in AC-203 Helsing with a pair of V-38 Griffins. They've been spotted by an enemy fighter on patrol and the fighter detects them seconds later and rushes over to intercept range and launches its missiles. And we have some deployed flares. Everything here is in 4 to 1 scale. Then by the guy with the squiggly W for a mouth, this is a star landing ship with his fleet. You can see on the ship there's some dock landing craft on board and here they are departing. And then here we have some more shots of a ship. I believe these are all customized so that's pretty cool. And here is a Corvette. So next up by Operation is Mail. He just made his own spaceships. Then by Aircat we have a group of futuristic aircraft that are fighting against some Israeli F-16s over Mount Hermon, which is a very snowy area apparently. Then we have some futuristic fighters by Cheesy Builds in space. And then by Remix, we have the Gettysburg class nuclear ballistic jet submarine, which fires a nuclear nuclear warhead at the menace to human society, the rabbit. Bruh. Then by KK No, this is the sci-fi German army on Mars. Diorama with custom tank. It's a Mars Panzer. Alfs A, it's a super heavy tank shooting super powerful electric laser to put down motherships, jets, enemy tanks, etc. Then by Mr. Sister Fister, we have Elon Musk class space cruiser on its way to peacefully colonize Mars and have a friendly trade with the local population, smiley face. Then by Kaiser Janus 1, this is a GTK Schmetterling 61 from Wolfenstein in the destroyed Manhattan. Then by Heavy CT 782, we have some TIE fighters patrolling Beggar's Canyon with Star Destroyer overhead and ATDP wiping out rebel scum. And then by Audishore or Alphalology, this is a Vulnary battle cruiser, and apparently it's been used in the Mist War a century ago and it's still being used in the skies of Central Sierras. Hunting those who roam from the mists. And here are some really cool render pictures of it. Then by Space Just Works, we have the Atlantis of the Trident class of the frontline carriers being escorted by Sector Fleet 9 on a fly through the Ouroboros system. Then by Fat Cucumber 101, we have the RUS Icarus. It is a deep space and travel exploration vessel with a spherical front part and sort of like this X in the middle. And here is a view of the back engines. Following that up with Pi, he has the MCRN Tachi. It's a Corvette class light frigate of the Mars Congressional Republic Navy. And it looks like it's going to hyperspace. 
And then by Vina Shinden, we have the Battle of the Hallelujah Mountains in 1.5 to 1 scale. We have some Space Marines going all out to fight the Navi, the natives of Pandora, which if you don't know, it's from the movie Avatar. And we have some aircraft, the TAV 37 Valkyrie, Space Shuttle, the C-21 Dragon Assault Ship, the SA-2 Samson Troop Carrier, the AT-99 Scorpion Gunships, and it says credit to Nelly J for taking all the screenshots. Our next entry is by the Drunk Norwegian. We have HMS Sophie, an 18-gun cruiser class, brig sloop conversion to a space bomber with stealth capabilities and armaments of four rail guns, air-to-air -air missiles, two Gatling guns, and an 18-flare battery. Then by Defense Minister of Russia, we have the Sukhoi Su-89, Zilliant 4-to-1 scale. It's a fictional stealth aircraft, and it's armed with the KH-67T draw tick. It's a next-generation thermal barrack cruise missile, and it showcases unmanned version of the Su-89U. Then by Official Nano, we have the mothership Fregnis and its escort fleet. A converted colony ship turned into a headquarters and capital for the Commonwealth of Free Nations. It is a 2,500 meter long spin gravity station. It's in 1 to 5 scale. Then next up by Reflected, we have the UNSC Aegis Fate. And this is a Charion class frigate used by the UNSC Navy and appeared in Halo 3 and very nice renders. We also do have some shots with the Longsword Fighter and Pelican. Then by Kayada, we have the 5th Angel, Ramiel, which is nearing Tokyo 3 in 1 to 5 scale from Neon Genesis Evangelion. Then by Chromatid, we have the Space Carrier Illustrious. I guess all its fighters are docked inside, and I wish there was more information about it, but that's all. Then here by Steve1924, this is the Rebel UT-60D U-Wing from Star Wars. Then by Buildyboy13, we have the Megalodon-class destroyer spaceship used by the planet XO7 to destroy the planet after a virus outbreak. Next by Jtrung M, we have the Star Wars The Eclipse, which is apparently Palpatine's Star Destroyer and he has many different angles of the ship. You can see some stormtroopers lined up in rows and here's the back view, some TIE fighters in action fighting, you know, the rebels. And if this is from like a new Star Wars movie, I didn't watch it yet, so this is kind of like spoilers for me. And right there, I assume that's Kylo Ren and some Imperial officer. So that's all the entries for the Minecraft Military Force 2021 Military Sci-Fi Contest. There was a lot of good entries and thanks to everyone who participated. Now we're going to move on to the top 10. <laughs> 